I'm so proud and delighted to welcome 6,500 athletes from 71 countries and territories to Glasgow for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. The Games are an opportunity for Glasgow and for Scotland to host our Commonwealth family as they compete and for the whole world to watch. Scotland has had the privilege of hosting the Friendly Games before, in 1970 and 1986. Those who recall the 1970 Games may remember, as I do, Scotland's own Lackey Stewart's momentous victory in the 10,000 metres. Others may recall the 1986 Games were boycotted by 32 nations as a signal of opposition to apartheid in sport. Whilst only 26 nations competed, 16 Commonwealth records were still broken. In 2014, we will witness double the amount of sports than in 1970 and 1986, and the biggest ever number of para sports. In parts of Glasgow itself, the Games are acting as a catalyst for regeneration. As we look back to 1970, some things remain the same. Following years of single-minded training, our fastest, our fittest and our most talented will step up to the start line, the court or the field of play and give everything for their country. However, much has moved on and this briefing, written by the Scottish Parliament's researchers, illustrate how key aspects of Scotland's environment, economy and society have changed. In 1970, one in every five households were single occupants, whilst now it is one in three. Levels of infant mortality have fallen dramatically, and we now have fewer road casualties, despite a massive increase in road traffic. We travel by rail slightly more than in 1970, but take the bus half as much. River water quality has vastly improved, but we can now observe the effects of climate change on our shores. Of course, the Scottish Parliament didn't exist in 1970 or 1986, but I look forward to, in the future, welcome the Commonwealth Games back to Scotland, and perhaps at that time we can consider the progress that the Scottish Parliament has made in that time. I hope you enjoy this snapshot of life in Scotland from 1970 through 1986 to the present day.